welcome all the students today we will see the module fifth for the program first year bsc agriculture honors for the subject agricultural engineering semester second with course code engineering 121 and course title soil and water conservation engineering the name of the module is agronomical and engineering erosion control measures contouring and strip scoping i am Uh, Mr. Vinod Akkari, Assistant Professor, Don Bosco College of Agriculture, Sulkarna, KP, Goa. So the outline of this module is agronomical erosion control measures, contour farming, strip cropping, crop rotation, conservation tillage, or conservation agriculture. At the end of this module, the students will be able to learn about different agronomical erosion control measures, contour farming, strip cropping, crop rotation, and conservation tillage that is conservation agriculture so in this agronomical erosion control measures there are different measures uh, like contour farming strip cropping crop rotation con uh, conservation tillage or we can say conservation agriculture we'll discuss one by one all this uh, agronomical erosion control measures so agronomical erosion control measures are the first line of defense second line of defense are the engineering erosion control measures so firstly we will see all this agronomical erosion control measures one by one first measure is the contour farming what is mean by contour farming it is the practice of conducting all field operations such as plowing planting and cultivating land across the slope rather than up and down the slope we have to do the plowing operation planting or some agricultural cultivation practices across the slope not along the slope so this is the Uh, uh this concept of contour farming the small ridges and vegetations in the contoured row hold water and thus that water will go down into the earth and our water table will increase and same our erosion also control there tillage should be done here in contour farming the tillage should be done parallel to the contour lines what is mean by contour lines contour lines are the join line joining the equal elevations on the hill or any Uh, place the contour lines are located at a distance of 25 to 33 meter depending on the steepness of this land or that particular area the annual average reduction in runoff due to this type of practices is 66% so in this diagram the contour farming is shown here the objectives of contour cultivations there are different objectives of this cultivation to reduce the sheet and rill erosions to reduce the transport of sediments solids and soil nutrients to enhance the infiltration rate next uh, agronomical practice is the strip cropping what is mean by strip cropping it is the practice of growing alternate strips of close growing and intertilled crops in the same field this is more intensive soil conservation practice than contouring but it is not so intensive as like terracing or bunding so terracing and bunding are the engineering practices so it is not as much effective like terracing and bunding strip cropping is not a single practice it is a combination of number of practices or good farming practices like crop rotation contour farming or cover cropping there are number of types of strip cropping first is the contour strip cropping in this system the crops are arranged in strips like it is shown in this diagram Uh, strips or bands on the contour at right angle to the natural slope of land the us usually the strips are cropped in a definite rotational sequence so this contour strip cropping are shown in this diagram here next type is the field strip cropping field strip cropping consists of strips of uniform width running generally perpendicular to the direction of erosive force erosive force here it is a direct means wind force wind force is considered here so for the control of erosion by water the strips run across the general slope but do not go to conform to any contour so the width of this strips are uniform here the maize soybean oat the uniform width is provided in this type of cropping to protect the soil from erosion by wind the strips are laid out across the direction of the wind such practices are generally followed in areas where the topography is irregular and the contour lines are too curvy or laying the farming plots 
third one is the buffer strip cropping this cropping is practiced where uniform strips of crops are required to laid out for smooth operation of any farm machinery while farming on a contour strip cropping layout buffer strip cropping consists of strips of some grasses or legume crops any legume crops laid out between contour strips of crops in regular rotations they may be used as correction strips where the slope is irregular buffer means we have to correct that width for the operation of farm machinery the buffer strips are usually 2 to 4 meter width uh, width is 2, 2 to 4 meter and are placed at 10 to 20 intervals so this this is the photograph for this buffer strip cropping so uniform width is maintained here the corn and alfalfa fourth one is the wind strip cropping as name it uh, given it, it it protects from wind wind strip cropping system the strips crops of uniform width are laid at right angle to the direction of wind without regard of the contour we are not considering here the contour line we are just considering from which direction wind is coming and along across that we are just uh, doing this practice the main objective of this system is to control the wind erosion rather than water erosion as name it's give it controls only wind erosion not water erosion this cro cropping is recommended for level or nearly level lands where the wind erosion is more effective or where problematic next uh, agronomical practice is the crop rotations rotations that provide strips of close growing perennial grasses means throughout year that grass is coming and legumes also alternating with grain and intertill crops the sequence of crops should be so arranged that maximum use can be made of cover crops green manure crops also we can go like dencha or uh, other crops and crop residues to protect and improve the land contour strip cropping may be established by laying out guidelines the strips should be of sufficient width the contour lines are uh, drawn by some instruments like marker next is the conservation tillage this tillage is the mechan uh, we know the tillage is the mechanical manipulation of the soil there are different types of tillage primary secondary tillage so in this conservation tillage we are not uh, doing much intervention with soil we are keeping as it is soil and then we are going for agricultural practices it consists of plowing harrowing and cultivating operations the effect of tillage on erosion is a function of its effect upon such factors like aggregation surface sealing infiltration and resistance to wind movement destruction of stru soil structure by excessive tillage or improper conditions for tillage will increase soil erodibility tillage operations carried out for conservation of soil are, there are different types of tillage minimum tillage zero tillage strip tillage mulch tillage uh, or listing and rich, uh, rich planting the special benefit of this tillage operations are to increase the soil infiltration to increase the soil moisture retention capacity or to increase the humus content or organic content or organic matter content of the soil uh, we'll discuss now all this type of tillage in short minimum tillage means it is the operation in which tillage and sowing are combined in one operation one operation we are doing all the task such operations create a coarse soil surface not a fine uh, structure of soil the loose and porous texture of the soil allows a good infiltration capacity the surface runoff by this operation is reduced by about 35 percent and soil erosion is by 40 percent so it is much effective and also costs cost is also less for this type of tillage and ne next important tillage is the zero tillage means we are not doing anything with soil we after harvesting of the crop we are directly sowing the next crop without much disturbance even means not disturbing uh, the top layer of the soil the operation performed are under cutting loosening and drying of the upper soil layer so that the weeds will not grow and stubbles of the previous crops remains as it is that that will act as a some um, uh, organic fertilizer there next is the strip cropping as it is shown in this uh, photograph this operation is an improvement over the no tillage system here we are just uh, making the strips of uh, 0.2 meter that is 20 centimeter width and uh, we are uh, going deep of uh, 10 centimeter only that is 0.1 meter 
so uh, it is very uh, economical tillage practices in this uh, this is also called as loosening strips these strips it is shown in this photograph in this con uh, in the constructed narrow strips there are no stubbles which help in sowing operations and facilitate better plant growth and last one that is the mulch tillage uh, we are using the organic mulches here not plastic mulches whatever the residues of the previous crops we will we'll put into this canopy of the uh, crop and it will act as a mulch tillage it is also called as stubble mulching so it will uh, help the crop to retain the moisture and to uh, avoid the uh, transpiration also control the weeds and finally our motto is to control the soil erosion next benefits of mulching benefits of mulching as we discussed it breaks the uh, raindrops and dissipate the energy and avoid the soil erosion it promotes the infiltration of the water into the soil also also reduces the evaporation of the water from soil and last one is the listing and reach planting so here there are two types of uh, listings hard ground listing or loose ground listing hard ground means we are uh, doing this type of practices without doing plowing and loose ground means after plowing we are doing listing that is called as a loose ground uh, listing this type of practices is followed in low rainfall areas where percentage annual rainfall comes in short intense storms tillage is carried out with listers like uh, double mold wall flower as shown in this photograph so these are the references thank you